Uh, unit four, this is conversation, sorry, English three. This is English three. This is unit four. And we're on page 30. We didn't cover that during the last lesson, and I'd like to get that done now. Now, Anne uh, is in a university, and she's talking about her life, what she wants to have, what she wants to do. When does she expect to graduate? Expect to. That means that she believes that she will do that. She expects to graduate in two years. What does she aspire to be? Aspire means that you want to. It's your dream. She aspires to be a doctor. Where does she plan to live? She plans to live in her hometown. What type of house does she hope to buy? She hopes to buy a brownstone townhouse. From you can see in the picture, the house is made out of brownstone, hence their name. They're actually townhomes, which means that there are uh, different units all the way up and down the street that are attached. The buildings are attached to each other and that they're usually two or three stories high. So they're kind of narrow, but they go up. So it's like having a, a two story apartment uh, and they're usually very expensive. Brownstones are usually found in, in older places uh, like New York, Philadelphia, and San Francisco. Okay. When does she ex in, intend to marry? Intend means you want to. And you want to. When does she intend to marry? She intends to marry when she is 25. How many kids does she wish to have? She wishes to have two kids. How often does she want to take vacations? She wants to take vacations once a year. What kind of hobby does she dream to start? She dreams to start painting. Okay, she dreams to start painting. Okay, let's do this one more time. Listen and repeat. When does she expect to graduate? She expects to graduate in two years. What does she aspire to be? She aspires to be a doctor. Where does she plan to live? She plans to live in her hometown. What type of house does she hope to buy? She hopes to buy a brownstone townhouse. She hopes to buy a brownstone townhouse. When does she intend to marry? She intends to marry when she is 25. How many kids does she wish to have? She wishes to have two kids. How often does she want to take vacations? She wants to take vacations once a year. What kind of hobby does she dream to start? She dreams to start painting. Okay, let's move on. Again, I'm sorry this is a little sideways. Uh, for some reason, that slide got deleted, and I had to use a photocopy. Uh, first week of work. Leo started a new job last week. Take turns asking when he learned each item in the weekly schedule. The weekly schedule are the things that you do during the week. Things that you do during the week. All right. Like you might take a class on Monday and Wednesday at 1, and you may have another a class at 3 on, on Thursday and Friday, or Wednesday and Friday. All right, so listen and repeat. When did he learn how to get to work? He learned how to get to work on Sunday. You have to learn how to get to work if the work is in another part of town, if it's in a place you've never been before. When did he learn when, uh, when to arrive? He learned when to arrive on Monday. When did he learn where to eat lunch? He learned where to eat lunch on Tuesday. When did he learn who to ask for help? He learned who to ask for help on Wednesday. When did he learn how to use the photocopier? 
The photocopier is the thing that, that copies your, your uh, papers or your book or whatever you're trying to copy. He, he learned how to use a photocopier on Thursday. When did he learn what to do in an emergency? He learned what to do in an emergency on Friday. What to do in an emergency are the things you need to do when a specific thing happens. If there is a fire, you have to know where the fire extinguishers are so you can spray the fire. If it's too big, you need to call 119 and run away very quickly. Uh, if, if it's a small fire, you can use an extinguisher. Uh, what to do if there is a, an earthquake, you can stand in a doorway until it's finished, and then they suggest you go outside so uh, in case there's some sort of building damage uh, or in case there's an aftershock. So um, if there's a storm, you need to be sure you have plenty of food and water inside of your house, which you should have anyway, at least for, uh, for uh, two weeks. Uh, and uh, you should uh, keep the windows closed in the storm. So there are a lot of things to do in an emergency. You need to learn them. All right, let's do this again. Listen and repeat. When did he learn how to get to work? He learned how to get to work on Sunday. When did he learn when to arrive? He learned when to arrive on Monday. When did he learn where to eat lunch? He learned where to eat lunch on Tuesday. When did he learn who to ask for help? Remember, there's always one person who's always willing to help people. You need to make friends with that person. He learned who to ask for help on Wednesday. When did he learn how to use a photocopier? He learned how to use a photocopier on Thursday. When did he learn what to do in case of emergency? He learned what to do in case of emergency on Friday. Okay, Leo had a busy week. Okay, we're going to go past your self-practice and pass this. Okay, we're now on page 33. 33 is listening. John and Lisa, Jonathan and Lisa, are talking about their ambitions. Ambition. Ambition is something you want to have happen. Uh, so something you want to you want to uh, you want to have happen in your life. Uh, and read the sentences below and write J for Jennifer, Jonathan, L for Lisa, or J. And that little thing, it's called an ampersand. It means and. J and L to show who wishes to do each item on the list. Listen carefully. Write J if um, Jonathan says it, L if Lisa says it, or J and L if both Lisa and, and Jonathan agree listening separate ambitions once again you are on page 33 hey lisa what are you doing nothing special i'm just thinking about what to do when i'm older what have you come up with so far come up with means what ideas do you have well first of all I want to find an interesting job. I really hate to do the same thing every day. My dream is to be a chef. I'd love to cook in a fancy restaurant. Okay. I'd like to choose my own career, but I can't. My dad expects me to take over the family business. It's not very exciting, but at least it's stable. Stable means that he's going to do the same thing every day. That's a good thing, but I need more adventure in my life. Once I become a famous chef, I'm going to travel all over the world and try different foods. Then I can create new recipes and write a cookbook. I hate writing, but I'd love to travel. I really want to go backpacking in Europe before I get married and settle down. Married? I didn't think of that yet. You want to have a family of your own one day, don't you? I suppose so, but I don't want any kids. I want to have time to raise children with my busy career. What about when you retire? I'll keep working for as long as I can. Then I'll start some new hobbies. I've always wanted to stay busy. Not me. 
I hope to retire early and relax. My children can look after the business and I can spend time with my grandchildren. I'm really looking forward to it. Wow, <laughs> they have really different ideas on how to be happy. Okay, so uh, back, going backpacking in Europe. That means you like to travel around Europe with a backpack. I only went backpacking in Edinburgh. I've been backpacking to 13 countries. Um, I went backpacking to China, Japan, Thailand, Vietnam, Cambodia, Malaysia, uh, the Philippines, Vietnam. Yeah, I think I have them all. Okay. Backpacking is when you just put a backpack on and go somewhere. It's a wonderful thing to do with your time. Um, and you can stay in cheap hotels called hostels. Okay. Busy career. This means that she thinks she, uh, career is your, your future job over your, uh, over your life. Career is your job will change over time because you'll get a better and better job, but you'll probably be in the same thing like cooking. Okay, and hobbies. These are things she likes to do with her time. Okay, so look after. That means to take care of something. Uh, you look after children. You look after a business. Okay. Retirement is when you stop working, usually around age 65. The age used to be 55, but people are living a lot longer, and they're, being, they're a lot healthier into their old age. Okay, let's do it again. Hey, Lisa, what are you doing? Nothing special. I'm just thinking about what to do when I get older. What have you come up with so far? Well, first of all, I want to find an interesting job. I really hate to do the same thing every day. My dream is to be a chef. I'd love to cook in a fast and fancy restaurant. I'd like to choose my own career, but I can't. My dad expects me to take over the family business. It's not very exciting but at least it's stable. That's a good thing, but I need more adventure in my life. Once I become a famous chef, I'm going to travel all over the world and try different foods. Then I can create new recipes and write a cookbook. I hate writing, but I'd love to travel. I really want to go backpacking in Europe before I get married and settle down. Married? I didn't think of that yet. You want to have a family of your own one day, don't you? I suppose so, but I don't want any kids. I won't have time to raise children with my busy career. What about when you retire? I'll keep working for as long as I can. Then I'll start some new hobbies. I always want to stay busy. Not me. I hope to retire early and relax. My children can look after the business and I can spend time with my grandchildren. I'm really looking forward to it. Wow, we have really different ideas about how to be happy. Okay. Jen, sorry, uh, Lisa, sorry, Lisa wants to have an exciting career. Should be an L there. I will strive to write a book. That's Lisa. She wants to write a cookbook. I'm going to travel abroad. That's that's Jonathan and Lisa. They both want to travel. I hope to get married and have children. That's Jonathan. Lisa's going to be too busy with her with her chef career. I look forward to relaxing retirement. That's Jonathan. He wants to uh, retire and have his children run the business. I aim to hand down the family business. Aim to means you want to. Hand down means give it to your children or your children's children. I intend, that would be Jonathan. I intend to start new hobbies when I retire. That would be Jen. She's, she really wants to stay busy. Sorry, that'd be Lisa. That would be Lisa. She really hopes to stay busy. Okay, pronunciation. Two infinitives and colloquial speech. To plan for the future is important. To quit is not an option. To serve the queen is our mission. You're being very formal. You're speaking to uh, people from a position of authority. To plan, to plan. When you're colloquial, it sounds like to. To plan is a waste of time. To quit is the easiest choice. To serve food is a good idea. Formal again, we need to understand each other. He hopes to find a better solution. They expect to achieve their dreams. You pronounce the to when you're being formal. Okay. When you're colloquial, you're just talking with your friends. You say to. We need to stop at the store. He hopes to finish on time. They expect to fail the test. Ooh, that's a problem. Okay, let's keep going. We're going to do some writing. Okay, listen. Uh, first, read the questions. 
whenever you see this, you're taking a test, read the questions first. One is Andy Yo's dream. What does it take to complete an ultra marathon? What is happening with the sport in Asia and Europe? What did organizers of the Ultra Trail de Mont Blanc recently have to do? Mont Blanc is literally means white mountain, okay, and it's in France. Um, what physical pains do racers in the Marathon des Sables experience? Literally the dark marathon. Uh, what does Andy dream to cross the finish line of an ultra marathon? Why does Andy dream to cross the finish line of an ultra marathon? Okay, when you find the answer, highlight it or underline it or do something with it. And then you're going to write your answer. Uh, you, you can change the wording a little bit. Just make a complete sentence when you answer. My dream challenge. My dream is to complete an ultra marathon. This is, that is a name for any foot race longer than 42.195 kilometers of a traditional marathon. To complete an ultra marathon takes incredible endurance. That means the ability to do something for a very long time. Racers must strive to overcome doubt and to push far beyond their usual limits. Strive means work toward. In 2003, only 18,000 people in North America finished an ultra marathon. In 2018, that number increased to 105,000 people. The sport is continuing to gain popularity across Asia and Europe. Ten years ago, Hong Kong had only six ultra marathons. Today, it's more than 60. Organizers of the Ultra Trail de Mont Blanc in Europe recently had to introduce a lottery system to select entrants because too many people apply. A lottery system means they put all the names in, in a hat or something and they pull the names out because there are too many names. For me, the ultimate challenge is to finish the Marathon des Sables. This race covers 251 kilometers across the Sahara Desert. Ooh. It is the toughest race on earth. At times, racers' feet start to swell, crack, and bleed from the heat of the desert sands. To achieve my goal will require training and perseverance. Perseverance means to keep doing something until you're done. It will also require money and good luck. Even though the entrance fee is over $5,000, tickets for the race sell out within minutes. My dream seems a little crazy to some people, but to cross the finish line of an ultra marathon is one of the greatest imaginable accomplishments. Okay, go through, highlight the answers, and write them down. Put me on pause, and then start me again when you're when you've completed it. Okay, so let's look at this. What is Andy Yo's dream? Andy Yo's dream is to uh, complete an ultra marathon. What does it take to complete an ultra marathon? It takes incredible endurance. Number three, what is happening with the sport in Asia and Europe? Many people want to run ultra marathons in Europe and Asia. Why? What did organizers of the Ultima Claire de Mont Blanc recently have to do? They had to introduce a lottery system. What physical pains do racers in the Marathon des Sables experience? Their feet crack and bleed. Six, why does Andy dream to cross the finish line of an ultra marathon? He feels it is one of the greatest imaginable accomplishments. Okay. Grammar review. This is very important to study your grammar review because it helps you study for the for their written exam. Okay. okay. There are dark clouds in the sky. It is going to. We're using going to, right? The appropriate sentence for each sentence situation. That means thing that's happening now. Using the form be going to in the words and parentheses. There are dark clouds and oh, well, let's do our example first. Liam is driving too fast. He is going to crash. There are dark clouds in the sky. It is going to rain. Pete and Carol love each other. They are going to get married. Oh, how sweet. Pete and Carol love each other. They are going to get married. I'm not feeling well. I'm not going to go to work today. I'm not feeling well. I'm not going to go to work today. Donna didn't hear his alarm in the morning. He is going to be late. Don didn't hear his alarm in the morning. He is going to be late. 
Kim did well in her interview. She is going to accept the job offer. Interview is when you interview for a job or a school. A job offer is when someone says, here is a job and here's how much we're going to pay you and here's what you have to do in your job. That's the job offer. Kim did well in her interview. She is going to accept the job offer. They want to lose weight. They are going to join a gym. Whoa, that's not correct. Uh, okay, let me fix that. Hold on a minute. The last chapter, I bet you thought Professor Laura was going crazy. This is the correct one on the top of page 35. Rewrite the sentences with it is. Okay, so to have a backup plan is important. It is important to have a backup plan. Both sentences mean the same thing. You're just moving them around a little bit. To earn respect is a great achievement. It is a great achievement to earn respect. To leave without saying goodbye is rude. It is rude to leave without saying goodbye. To have good friends is a blessing. A blessing is a good thing that makes your life better. It is a blessing to have good friends. To worry is natural. It is natural to worry. I know you guys are all worried, but don't worry. If we stay home, wash our hands, and keep our social distance and wear masks, we're going to be okay. To save for the future is a good idea. It is a good idea to save for the future. Okay, one more time. To have a backup plan is important. It is important to have a backup plan. To earn respect is a great achievement. It is a great achievement to earn respect. To leave without saying goodbye is rude. It is rude to leave without saying goodbye. To have good friends is a blessing. It is a blessing to have good friends. To worry is natural. It is natural to worry. To save for the future is a good idea. It's a good idea to save for the future. Let's do our next page. All right, Gamma Review B. Rewrite the sentences with I want you to or I don't want you to. You have to visit me more often. So it would be I want you to visit me more often. Please don't be upset. I don't want you to be upset. You shouldn't buy me a gift. I don't want you to buy me a gift. I want you to pay close attention. Uh, okay, pay close attention. I want you to pay close attention. Don't stay up too late. I don't want you to stay up too late. Okay, we're making these sentences more polite. I want you. I don't want you. Okay. All right. Do you understand how to answer the question? First one is, did you learn how to use the machine? Number one, do you know how, do you understand how to answer the question? Can you tell me where to park my car? Park your car means you put your, you drive in and your car stops somewhere, usually in a parking lot. Will they know when to enter the room? To enter is to go into. Will you teach me how to bake a pie? You bake a pie by putting it in the oven, in a hot oven. Are they still deciding what to have for dinner? Do you understand how to answer the question? Can you tell me where to park my car? Will they know when to leave the room? Sorry, to enter the room. Will you teach me how to bake a pie? Are they still deciding what to have for dinner? Okay, D, complete the sentences using infinitives. Here's where you write your own answers. Uh, so I like to relax at home in the evenings. I don't like to walk outside in the cold or something. Write something you don't like. If the weather is nice on Saturday, I'd like to something. I like to, want to. This is want to. Okay. 
when I have some free time, I want to. You guys have a lot of free time. So what are you doing with your free time? Are you learning how to play the guitar? Do you want to play the guitar? Do you want to uh, learn a new language, like Chinese or, in this case, English? What are you trying to do? Uh, maybe you're learning coding. Free Code Camp is free. You can learn to code for free at freecodecamp.com. I hope to something before I'm 30 years old. What do you hope to do? Get married, buy an apartment, buy a car, um, have a great job. One day I dream to something. What are you going to do in the future? Just relax, write whatever it is that you think would be a good idea to write down. What do you want to do? Okay. We covered all of this chapter. Uh, in our next lesson, we will uh, go over Unit 5. Have a wonderful day.